Tell me about your hearing loss. How deaf are you? Deaf. Deaf. <laughs> I might be deaf, but I can surely paid. Now, um, I'm profoundly deaf, and that's about as deaf as you can get. When there's a uh, jet engine, that's when I first hear a whisper. Unless I put my hearing aids on, that is. But even with my hearing aids, my hearing terrible. Like the word tortoise, for example, all I can hear is oh, oh. I don't hear the T's or the S's or anything like that. And never have and never will. Tell me about your lip reading. Well, lip reading is good if you've got nice, fat, juicy lips. <laughs> fat, juicy like yours they are. <laughs> Um, and, and like mummies, but, um, lip reading is just something that you need to do if you can't hear, because, like, blind people learn braille, so that they can read by feel, so you've got other senses apart from hearing, and you make the best use of the other, other senses that you have, and, um, so... I'm more concentrating on people's lips when they're talking, though so naturally I learned how to lip read. What way is, what was it like growing up and going to school? Sorry, my handwriting pretty bad. Um, I absolutely loved it. I went to a school way up the top of Queensland called Flying Fish Point. And um, up there, our uniform was bare feet, dubby shorts, sometimes without jocks, and a T-shirt that with a big flying fish on it. And I just loved it. It was the best thing ever. And, um, yeah, it was just awesome. Being, being deaf, what things do you find harder to do? Well, I found it harder to listen. But, yeah, um, like at school, uh, the things that were harder to do were things like um, following what was going on. I used to have to watch what people were doing, like in games and stuff like that, and and I'll copy what people did. So that was how I was learning. And uh, things like when they had the ath sports, they used to fire the starter pistol, but I wouldn't hear it because they'd be behind me. I'd just predict, ready, set, go, and I, I just print it off too fast. And they wouldn't be able to fire the gun again and call me back because I wouldn't hear it. So the race had to run. So I always had a head start. Great. Did people accept your deafness and know how you needed extra help? Well, a lot of people didn't. Um, they are... I used to have to sit right up the front of the class so I could lip read the teacher. And um, there's a lot of things like, right up until I was in grade three, I had a beanbag in the classroom for me because lip reading required so much concentration to be able to understand what was going on. I, I was worn out. So I had this little beanbag in the classroom for me for my daily nap right up until grade three. And um, some people thought I was getting special treatment, but it wasn't that. It was just treatment that allowed me to get as much as everyone else. That's all it was. Anyway, so there's some people that were bullies and that sort of thing. And 
I know that they don't have anything like that now, but like they used to hold me down and push my head in the mud and that sort of thing. But don't worry, I've got my own back. But don't you do that. How um, is the best way to talk to deaf persons? The best way to talk to deaf people is to make sure that they can see your lips and that you're in good light and not to slow things down. Just talk absolutely normally. And um, if you're a fast talker, talk fast. If you're a slow talker, talk fast. Whatever is the most natural way of talking is for you, just talk like that and don't change anything. Don't yell because yelling makes it... It drains your lips, and um, see how I'm talking normally now. If I yell, it changes your lips, and uh, you can't understand it, and you can't hear it either, so there's no point. Are, are there any benefits to being deaf? There's lots of benefits to being deaf. Good night, sleep. Number one. I never heard the kids the whole time when they were babies screaming their lungs out in the middle of the night. But I did get a lot of bruised elbows from Linda. Ooh. Bruised, bruising on the ribs. Ooh. Anyway, um, there's also selective deafness. You can use your real deafness to hide when you um, don't really want to know about it. Like, do the dishes, Bart. Uh, what? That sort of thing. Um, anyway, but all in all about Deaf Day is... Um, I'm trying to find some notes. Really hard for my dad. Oh. Yeah. I can nip right in a noisy crowd from a distance, like at the pub or at the football, or when other people can't hear, I can know exactly what's going on. Yeah, and um, I also have chickens and roosters. And they woke everyone else up in the morning except me. Hey? Dogs. And the dogs. And the dogs and the sheep. <laughs> anyway. And ducks. Bye. Bye.